What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome to your stimulus check update, stimulus package update news report for Thursday, April 1st. Now, I just wanna come out and say that nothing about this video is a joke. This is not an April Fool's joke. Uh, I'm not using this topic as a way to trick you, okay? I, this is a very sensitive subject. A lot of people are struggling right now, so I'm not going to play any type of April Fool's joke on you. If you wanna see something like that, go up to YouTube and type in April Fool's joke, because this is not it. So, with that said, here's what I wanna do at this time. I wanna go over the $1,400 stimulus checks. I wanna go over what we're hearing regarding SSI and SSDI. I wanna talk about the $200 boost for Social Security recipients that President Biden promised. So I want to address that because I think we're gonna to start to see a little bit of a, a push for that and I wanna explain why. And then I also wanna dive into the $3,600 child tax credits because I know a lot of people are currently struggling and could use all of these additional uh, you know, funds. So here's where we're at right now, all right? So let's get into it. But first, I want to address something that I think is extremely important that I think a lot of people have been missing. And according to multiple uh, reports, there are many lawmakers over the past few days that have been saying this exact same thing you know, in, in, different, in different ways. But what we know is the Democratic Party is using this year, 2021, as their way to provide, uh, you know, extensive relief to the American people, which is great, you know, help uh, kind of stimulate the economy and, and get people back to where they once were. And they want to uh, have a large commitment to change and to make the, better, the nation better. That's what their goal is for the first year. And here's the reason why. We know this because multiple lawmakers have stated that they are doing this, they're doing all of this, and they want to do it in a big way because they worry that if they don't, that they could lose the majority to Republicans in the coming years. So all of this is really important and I want to explain why and I'll address this in a minute because it will all make sense. But first, let's address the $1,400 stimulus checks and currently what we are hearing. Now, Many people have sent me messages uh, you know, through email, have also commented down in the comment section, Let me know that either they did get their $1,400 stimulus check, which is great, or they didn't. Now, that is not so good, but here's what we know. I have heard from a handful of people that are on Social Security, that do get a Social Security check, and some are saying that yes, they have received their check. They got a uh, paper check or a prepaid debit card in the mail, which is great. Some are saying that yes, they did get their direct deposit uh, yesterday, which was Wednesday, March 31st. And some are saying that no, it won't actually come until April 7th. We do know that millions of paper checks and prepaid debit cards have already been sent out. So if you are supposed to get one, then chances are you could have one in the mail right now. It might be uh, you know, still coming to your doorstep, so you might have to wait till maybe the end of this week, maybe this weekend, possibly even into next week. But next week is gonna be the big week for Direct Express um, recipients and uh, direct deposit as far as Social Security uh, you know, beneficiaries because we know the IRS has stated that the payments will go out on April 7th. However, and here's the big thing that we haven't heard any discussions on, we haven't even heard reports on this, is that we don't know what will happen to those that have not received their full uh, stimulus payments. We have heard from many people, I've talked to many people uh, through email, and they've all, a lot of them have said the exact same thing. They're usually a family of four, and instead of four payments, they only got two. So they're still waiting on an additional $2,800 for their family. Well, there is some speculation right now that President Biden will step up again and make the IRS send out additional uh, stimulus payments for those that are missing funds. What I can tell you is that at this point, this has not been done. This was done in the past with the $600 stimulus checks. However, the IRS still states that they are behind they are behind, they still haven't sent out all the $600 stimulus checks. They still have checks of the $1,200 that haven't gone out either because they don't know where to send them. What I can tell you uh, is that 
this has to get done. The American people need a stimulus check. They need to get it as quickly as possible. And this, along with the child tax credit of $3,3600, this is actually going to uh, you know, benefit children and families. However, if the IRS can't get out stimulus checks quick enough, it will actually delay the child tax credits even more, which is gonna be very hurtful for many people. Right now, Democrats are pretty much talking about there's two big wins. Now the entire package was a big win, but they're talking about two big things. First, you got the $1,400 stimulus checks, which they say uh, put money directly into the American people's pockets, which helped them put food on the table, keep a roof over their head and pay off whatever bills. The next big win, and this is the big one, that they see uh, that Democrats are saying that it was well received by the public is the child tax credit. However, at this point, these payments are not even supposed to go out in the next month or so. They are expected to open up the portal in June, which then hopefully will mean we can see payments starting in July and there'll be monthly payments. But this is something that is supposed to keep children out of poverty, not for just the immediate future, but for years to come. Well, here's the issue. This means that Congress has to get a bill passed in this Build Back Better plan that will include an extension of the child tax credits for more than just one year. But on top of that, the IRS has to get this thing figured out. Right now, they are struggling. They're still doing 2019 tax returns. They are obviously doing 2020 tax returns. They are doing stimulus checks, trying to send out stimulus checks to those that didn't receive their initial $1,200 or $600 stimulus check. They're trying to implement a system so that they can actually send out the unemployment income tax um, that was waived for the first $10,200 of unemployment income. That is going to be sent out in May. Uh, they're pushing back their deadline instead of April 15th. They've already pushed it back to May 17th. And some lawmakers are saying that no, we need to extend it one more time. This needs to go back into June. So we will see. But we do know the IRS is struggling because they are trying to send out so many different stimulus checks, so many rebate checks, and obviously doing taxes. We know the IRS has over $8,1200 and $600 stimulus checks that have yet to be claimed simply from low-income families because they do not where do not know where to send these checks. According to the IRS, they are they have the payments, but they don't know where to send them if these families don't file taxes. And in a lot of cases, some low-income individuals and families will not file their taxes because they are not required to because they make under the certain limit. The IRS is urging everybody, whether you need to or not, file your taxes so that they know where to send you your $1,200, $600, and $1,400 stimulus checks. Because they will. If you are owed that money, it does belong to you, they will send it to you. Now, because of all of this, because of all the low-income families that have yet to receive their, their $1,200 check, their $600 check, and might not get a $1,400 stimulus check, what we are hearing right now is this child tax credit is even bigger than what many lawmakers expected. What we know is the IRS will put together a portal, uh, an online portal that will allow uh, families to go in, you know, input in their information that, okay, yes, I have, you know, three kids, I make this much money, uh, or I made this much money this past year, right? All these different things. This is my bank account. This is where you should be sending me the, the checks. Well, here's what we know. What I can tell you is this is supposed to come out July 1st. That's when the payments are supposed to be here. Well, in June, chances are the portal won't be open. The IRS has said this multiple times, it's going to be a challenge. But the biggest problem with all of this is what Democrats keep saying that, you know, help is on the way. Help is on the way. This is what Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has been saying multiple times, is that, you know, yes, you know, this and this and this, but help is on the way. You know, we're going to provide for those, those families that are currently struggling to put food on the table. Help is on the way. What I can tell you is if the $1,400 stimulus checks keep getting delayed, we are not seeing the $600 and the $1,200 showing up in people's bank accounts like was promised. The child tax credit is, chances are, going to be delayed. The refund checks for taxes will most likely be delayed. 
people on unemployment benefits through different states are seeing delays in their not only their state benefits, but their $300 per week boost as well. This is another delay. What Democrats are saying, we cannot afford more delays. And in a time like this, when we were anticipating the, the new jobless claims that came out today, that was actually for last week, we were expecting to see them, the expected number was 675,000 new cases. That would have been okay. That was what was expected. Well, instead we came out and showed 719,000 new cases. So what we are hearing now is that this is not okay. We are not trending in the right direction. There's delays upon delays for you know direct uh, payments to the American people. There's the jobless claims actually went up. We're gonna see tomorrow what happens with the unemployment numbers. And uh, that could be scary as well. Uh, we want to see it under five. We want or technically under six. So somewhere in the 5% range. But what we are hearing is right now, there's a, there's a lot of additional people that need help. Children need a lot of help. Because if the parents aren't getting the money that they were promised, the children are going to suffer. But lawmakers are saying that children are not the only people that need help. They're not the only one suffering. And this is where we could see uh, you know, people start to address and talk and discuss and maybe propose new, new provisions, new pieces of legislation for the elderly as well, because they also need help. That brings me to that $200 per month social security boost that President Biden promised. Now, here's what we know. The other day, uh, actually, I think last week, I ended up telling you guys that nobody's really talking about the $200 per month boost that President Biden promised. However, I think things are about to change. I want to explain why. And this is extremely important because yesterday, President Biden, he unveiled his, his roughly $2.25 trillion infrastructure plan or his um, American jobs plan. Well, as soon as he did that, you know, right after that, the Progressive Caucus, they put out a statement. Uh, and in this statement and multiple uh, lawmakers, multiple rep uh, representatives uh, kind of addressed this as well. But in their statement, they simply demanded President Biden uh, pass a larger infrastructure bill. And they, they demanded this because and they gave a reasonable, a, a valid reason for this. But they said when President Biden was campaigning before the election, he promised $2 trillion in infrastructure spending within the first year. So $2 trillion within one year. Okay, great. That sounds pretty good. That's, I think that would be a very helpful to the United States as a whole. But in his American jobs plan, President Biden is proposing $2.25 trillion, but it's spanned over eight years, over eight years. Okay. So what is that like? Uh, you know, point, uh, a little bit over 0.25%. Okay. Uh, or a little bit over point, uh, yeah, like 500, uh, 500 billion dollars, a little bit more than that, $550 billion roughly over one year versus $2 trillion within the first year. And that's where, that's where progressives are saying that right now, that if Democrats want to hold the majority in the House and the Senate in the upcoming election, President Biden must pass the legislation that he promised in his campaign. This leads us into what he actually promised. And it's even on his website. You can see it on his website. He says he wanted to provide $2 trillion for infrastructure. And this was going to happen within one year. Well, this doesn't look like it's going to happen. This is not a promise that he's going to be able to keep. He also promised student loan forgiveness of up to $10,000 per student. He's working his way towards that. He's been doing little things here and there to provide student loan forgiveness. However, it has come up a little bit short, according to what uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren actually want. They want $50,000 in student loan forgiveness. And the big one, which is what many of you have also asked for, is he's promised the $200 per month for social security recipients. Here's the issue. Will this happen? Honestly, I have no idea. But what I can tell you is progressives are now pushing back to President Biden saying, you promised this, you should pass it. They are not discussing the $200 per month for social security though. They're not discussing, well, some aren't, um, saying that you promised you would forgive student loan debt, you need to do it. But now progressives are saying you promised, 
you were going to do $2 trillion in infrastructure spending within the first year, and you haven't done it, and you aren't even proposing it. So that's creating an issue. Progressives have outlined what is what is actually going to happen and what it will uh, you know take to keep the majority in the House and Senate and, and to, to keep it you know a, a Democrat. Well, what we know is Republicans will jump on President Biden any chance they get if he makes the wrong move. So I do expect a push on, okay, you promised this during your campaign. We have to deliver. Well, if, if progressives push and say, well, you promised this in your campaign, so we have to deliver, well, what makes them stop there? Because they also, he also promised student debt forgiveness, student loan forgiveness, and he also promised $200 per month for every single Social Security recipient throughout for like a year. So do I expect to see more soon? Yes, I do. Do I expect to see $200 per month in this next bill? I don't. But this, this kind of you know, brings up the question, why would some lawmakers push for the promises he made in this aspect, but not in this one? If, if they want to keep the, the Senate and the House, in my opinion, the only way to do that is to fulfill all the campaign promises. Because if he doesn't, I guarantee people on Social Security are going to remember, they will not vote for President Biden again. But not only that, progressives are still pushing Okay, because progressives want to see a lot done. You know, uh, AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, in an interview yesterday, she said that if we want to do everything that is needed, we have to spend $10 trillion. However, some say they, uh, she said some would balk at that, the idea of $10 trillion, but it spanned over 10 years. So it's really only $1 trillion per year, which isn't that big of a number. It's big for us. I wish I had a trillion dollars in the bank, but I don't. That's a big number. But we know progressives want to spend an additional, uh, you know, billions of dollars for an additional stimulus check. They want to provide $2,000 per month stimulus checks. And that would be for the length of this pandemic. And then after the pandemic is over, the checks would go from 2000 down to $1,000 per month. And this would go for one year. Now, they also want to see Medicare for all. However, uh, according to Bernie Sanders and multiple reports just this morning, the progressives will settle for Medicare for more. So it's a little bit of a different approach. Instead of giving Medicare to every single uh, American out there, they will actually give Medicare to a lower age. Instead of uh, starting at 65, they would actually start at 60, possibly even in, at 55. What we have heard before is that you can actually pay into Medicare. So let's say it starts at 65 and you want to get in at 60, you can pay in a little bit so that you can already get yourself in. But what some are saying and what Bernie Sanders says is no, we should not have to pay for basic medical attention. That should all be free. So we will see what happens there. But as of right now, progressives are not going to stop. They say they will not they are not going to stop doing their job until they feel every single American has been cared for. So we will see what that means and what that entails for us. But as always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back and share more. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing so I can continue to keep you updated on everything that's going on. And I'll see you guys on the next one.